Hello, my name is Sammy Records. I am a current student at the University of Minnesota Duluth, and I am in school to become a middle school slash high school language arts teacher. And the main reason why I decided to be a language arts teacher all has to do with the incredible teachers that I had who really like helped change my life. So the first teacher I will be talking about is my 10th grade language arts teacher. Her name was Miss Dietrich. And I just, I don't even know how to explain it. I just like had a really good bond and connection with her. Um, she's like one of the first teachers I've had to like kind of care about me as a person more than a student, like digging more deep into me. I remember um, we had this essay and it was like what it means to be and then whatever. And I wrote an essay about what it means to be beautiful. And my teacher pulled me out of class and said that it was a very emotional piece and it made her kind of sad and was telling me like it was a very move, moving piece written by a 16 year old. I also just really love like how like warm her classroom was like every time I go in there it was just like I could breathe a bit and just relax and have a good time. I mean language arts is deserves to have fun. I'm very fortunate that I got to have her because she currently isn't a teacher right now or anymore. But she still works in the district, so I have seen her after 10th grade, and she's still fantastic. Now, the second teacher I want to talk about is my uh, 11th slash 12th grade language arts teacher. Her name was Miss Bocce Galupo, which is a very long name. I, again, I just, I've always loved language arts. I've loved reading. I loved writing. And she kind of helped me dig into, like, the more creative side of writing. Um, I remember uh, in 11th grade, you know, we were writing essays and all this. And I just, I don't know. I always, I loved going to her class. It was my first class of the day. And it was always such a good way to start the day. And again, her classroom was always warm and welcoming and inviting, and I could talk to her about anything I needed, and she listened and joked around a bit. But unfortunately, our year was cut short due to COVID, because this was the 2019 to 2020 school year. So then we moved online, and when we moved online, she was very understanding and, you know, just wanted us to, like take care of ourselves and just you know whenever we could read to read and I was very fortunate that I got to take 12th grade class with her I took creative writing with her and I only had her for the fall but it was just great to have a familiar face in the midst of the crazy pandemic and also just being a senior in high school I learned how to be a more descriptive writer, how like all the tiny details matter in writing. And again, I could talk to her. I remember it wasn't until the end of, towards the end of uh, senior year that I finally decided I was gonna go to school to be a language arts teacher. For one of my classes, I had to interview a person whose profession I was interested in And I asked her if I could interview her, and she said, of course. So then I got to interview her and talk about, like, what it means to be a language arts teacher and all that. And she was great, and she still teaches at my high school. I actually ran into her about a year ago after I graduated, and she she was like, oh, my God, like, I haven't seen you in a long time. Like, how are you doing? I know this is this is supposed to talk about one teacher, but frankly, these two women have influenced me so, so much. And even more teachers have, but I could only pick 
a few. So I narrowed it down to these two wonderful ladies. And I truly hope when I become a full teacher that I'm even as a tiny bit as wonderful as they are.